Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Josephson and Sharp Sharpo lighter. This is an aluminum block roller lighter made in Glendale, California. It has vertical ribs on four sides, is machined smoothly on the top and bottom. Very cool old petrol lighter that uh, I believe this makes three of these that I've owned and they are some of my favorites. The slider shows scuffs, scratches, dings, minor wear. Of the three of these that I've had, this one is definitely in the best condition. I currently still own all three of those. The armor advertising lighter that I made the video on well over a year ago I believe now and it has been listed for a good while I also have the one that I bought alongside this one that was not in quite as good a condition and I did that video several months ago re-wicked them both in the same video and uh, have been tinkering with them here and there trying to get the feel of them and see if I can get them to work as well as the first one that I owned and um, I don't know we'll see it seems to me that these lighters like to be held firmly when they're struck as opposed to most roller lighters that like to be struck like this so that the ferrocerium sparks are going upward for some reason this slider seems to light more reliably just held upright and using two hands I suspect that has something to do with the trajectory that those sparks are coming off the wheel on but that is just a guess on my part slider is as I stated earlier in very good condition does show scratches scuffs dings but doesn't have a whole lot of uh, you know grime or buildup very difficult to even see where the hinge pin is at. You can see it easier there. Kind of a hidden pin design, the way that it lines up with the uh, vertical ribs, or perhaps the pin is put in place and then they machine the lighter. Or I should have said machined. Hasn't been one of these made in, I'm assuming, uh, probably since before I was born. <laughs> Over 50 years ago. So you can see there it is marked Josephson and Sharp. Sharpo, Glendale, California. The fill screw is uh, extremely large in the threads, or the threaded area, I should say, the hole. It's much bigger than most. Still has its gasket intact. has a screwdriver by which you can manipulate the flint spring screw and 
also that same piece that has the screwdriver when you unscrew it from the fill screw it contains your spare flint Of all the aluminum block lighters that I've owned or come across, the Sharpo is probably the most well machined, well made that I can recall. I really love the Cygnus lighters, but I've talked several times in the past about how. Um, the bases especially are a lot of times left or were left to look unfinished they weren't necessarily machined smoothly um, not so with the Sharpo it has a mirror finish on it very nice very well executed design of a lighter has plenty of with the ribbing plenty of uh, grip for your fingers and hands with the striations there on the snuffer you got plenty of lift on it it's a uh, excellent lighter as I said earlier, the only caveat I would say is, seems in my experience that they light best when you hold them with two hands. Rather than one-handed, which is why a lot of lighters work that way. Most, that's why I like roller lighters. And the other well, I shouldn't necessarily say that, I guess. The first of these Sharpos that I had, the one with the armor advertising on it, it seemed like it would light however you struck it. But for whatever reason, these two that I have acquired later, um, they seem like they like it better when you hold them with two hands, very steady, and uh, strike that wheel holding the lighter upright. I would be very curious to those watching the video to know how many of you who are vintage lighter collectors also use them. I don't use all the lighters that are in my collection. Um, I use, I would say, a good number more old lighters than most people simply because I'm always repairing them and I want to know how they whether they light reliably so I can know whether I can sell them as such but just for the average lighter collector I know that there are a lot of vintage cigarette lighter collectors that do not smoke or I guess for that means use fire for any means they really don't really have any purpose for pocket fire but nonetheless they uh, are drawn to the aesthetic appeal or the artistic qualities whatever it happens to be of collecting vintage lighters but I am always curious I'm always uh, it always makes me wonder when I sell the lighter is that lighter going to be used or is it just going off to be stuck on a shelf somewhere But uh, in the end, it really doesn't make any difference. Whatever floats your boat, whatever drew you to the hobby to begin with, those are all valid pursuits, whether you ever plan on lighting one up or not. The lighter, that is, I'm speaking of lighting up.
Until next time.